I just want to rip all these toys out of the box and make a giant lizard fight a giant monkey. Looks like Godzilla already escaped from the box. He's out there hurting people and we don't know why. With dark gray paint, here's Godzilla with heat ray. Simply attach its tail. Godzilla has an arsenal of weapons. Take a look at its intimidating dorsal fins. Love the translucency. Godzilla has limited articulation and moves like a tank, making it susceptible to attacks. Its tiny arms can rotate, but there isn't any additional movement, so other than blocking, they're useless in battle. Look at Godzilla's massive legs. Godzilla loves stomping on enemies to finish them off. You can move them back and forth, but there's no real additional movement in the knees and feet. Not only does its large tail act like a counterbalance, but also it has articulation in its tail for unleashing a devastating tail swipe. With a moving jaw, it not only uses its jaw to bite opponents, but also to unleash its deadly attack, the atomic breath. Its explosive radioactive atomic breath accessory can be plugged into its mouth. Battle damage reveals its rib cage. Here's Kong with fighter jet. Jeez, I can smell him from here. The moment we take Kong out of the box, Godzilla is going to come for him. But we need Kong. The world needs him. Kong bows to no one. Look at the muscles in his torso and arms. He's even got battle scars. It features the same mold as Kong with battle axe, but this one has a closed mouth. His battle damage piece can be inserted on his shoulder and is easily removable during battles. The 6-inch Kong figures seem to have the most articulation in the line. Bring Kong to life with movement in his head, arms, elbows, legs, and knees. What good is a Kong figure that can't chest pound? Without it, Kong would be as intimidating as a killer tomato. Thanks to his higher brain-to-body ratio, Kong can actually understand sign language. I've watched the movie countless times to communicate with him. Let's tell him he's very brave. Guess he didn't like that. What's that sound? Gojira! We have to release Kong or he's a sitting duck. Like a human, he's able to use handheld weapons with amazing accuracy. He can pick up the included fighter jet accessory out of the air, flinging it like a dart at Godzilla. Here's Godzilla with Radio Tower. Kong might be more agile on land, but Godzilla has a huge advantage underwater. Other than its color and new accessory, there isn't a whole lot different with this figure. Godzilla can actually grasp the radio tower in its hand for some epic, destructive action. I love how the accessories are compatible across the line, so you can insert the atomic breath accessory from Heat Ray Godzilla into this figure too. This toy is perfect for underwater battles with Kong. Its new blue paint scheme and opaque spikes highlight Godzilla's superior underwater fighting skills. Here we go! This won't end until one of them submits. Shut everything down. Cut the power. Kill everything that makes a noise. That worked. Ready to go to Hollow Earth? We're picking up some strange radar activity. Look, it's Warbat with Osprey. He's a completely new creature in the Monsterverse and is awesome sauce. Powerful enough to tear through armored vehicles with its massive fangs, the Warbats are venom-winged monsters that hunt the hidden depths of Hollow Earth. Menacing, right? His wings come unassembled, but you simply pop his wings onto his body to make him evolve into a flying snake titan. Here's the battle damage piece that snaps onto his wings and can be removed in battle. He can stand on his tail base, but there's also an optional stand. Unlike any other snake species, his fangs are on his lower jaw instead of his upper jaw. They can actually move, but I wonder if they're really venomous. Hmm. I love how the wings spiral down his body, and I'm impressed with how this creature stays afloat. His wings can move back and forth to strangle Kong. He can even wrap his body around foes. It comes with a generic-looking Osprey helicopter, mostly just for chewing. There's some great articulation on him. His tail can swivel along with his lower body. 
Nothing like a big monkey fighting an anaconda with wings. Kong's going to love ripping off his head and feasting on him. Gross. But hey, dinner's dinner. Meet Kong with Battle Axe. Feel the mighty strength of Kong as he enters the ultimate battle royale against Godzilla with bone-crushing primal strength and a legendary new weapon fit for a king. Check out his roar! Aside from a slightly darker paint scheme and open mouth sculpt, this figure is similar to the Kong with fighter jet figure. He's still got great articulation. But the real reason we traveled to Hollow Earth is to find the battle axe that's included with this figure. This lethal weapon can be squeezed into Kong's clenched right hand, ready to inflict major damage. Doesn't it look like it originated from a Godzilla-like creature? Take a look at the blade of the axe, which appears to be composed of a dorsal plate. If Kong's the god of Skull Island, then here's the devil. Here's Skullcrawler with Heave. The most dangerous super species on Skull Island, the ferocious Skullcrawler attacks with razor-sharp claws and a whiplash tail to dominate opponents in battle. Let's hatch it out of its box. Simply pop on its tail. Take a look at this beauty. Scientifically classified as a cranium reptin, look at its skull-like head with hollow nasal cavity and eyes. He looks like he climbs straight out of hell. It comes with a generic-looking he vehicle, but I doubt it can light up Las Vegas for a week, let alone withstand gravitational inversion. Rip off his battle damage feature on his back to reveal his bloody spine. He has great articulation, rotate his shoulder and even his elbow to create a wide variety of dynamic poses. His tail is on a ball joint. His jaws swing open too. Man, I would love to have this as a pet. I would feed him just about every creature so he could grow to the size of a T-Rex. You know what would be fun after that? Using him as bait. <laughs> Looks like our package arrived in Hong Kong. Whoa, that's Robo Godzilla. No, that's Mecha Godzilla, a robotic apex predator with unstoppable powers of laser destruction. Mecha Godzilla was created in secret to destroy Godzilla and end the reign of monsters. Like the other figures, his tail pops on. Mecha Godzilla is rocking a new design that has grown on me. This new modern design looks futuristic and reminds me of the Transformers. I think the toy captures Mechagodzilla's look perfectly with great sculpting details. What do you think of his new design? Articulation is a mixed bag. He can't move his head, he's got movement in his jaws. There's a joint on each shoulder. At first glance, there appears to be an elbow joint, but surprisingly there isn't. He can't move his claws either. The legs have better articulation than the arms. He can move his legs forward, backward, and to the sides. He has a knee joint. He can even rotate his ankles. Like the other figures in the line, he's got a battle damage reveal feature in the form of a removable plate on his chest. His tail moves on a ball joint. Not only can he use his tail as a weapon, but also it has a tail drill on the tip perfect for shoving in an enemy's face. The biggest disappointment is that it comes with a generic green heave accessory instead of a red laser beam. How the heck am I going to obliterate the head off Skullcrawler now? Still, it's got a cavity in its mouth compatible with Godzilla's atomic breath, so that'll have to do. Release number 10! If you're a big fan of toys with psychedelic colors, you're going to absolutely love the Hong Kong Battle Kong and Godzilla. I love the packaging. Unleash the primal strength of Kong as he enters an urban jungle of skyscrapers, navigating the neon city skyline with his ancient scepter to challenge Godzilla for the title of King of the Monsters. The earth-shaking power of Godzilla is in your hands as the King of the Monsters unleashes his devastating atomic breath and skyscraper-shattering tail swipe to battle Kong for the monster throne. With their funky colors, these toys are supposed to recreate our favorite titans under the neon glow of Hong Kong during their epic showdown. Aside from the paint job, these figures are very similar to their respective counterparts in the line. Kong is basically like Kong with fighter jet with axe accessory. He's got a closed mouth sculpt and even got the same articulation as the other 6-inch Kong figures. 
The neon glow on his arms looks dope. There's a subtle hint of it on his sides, shoulders, and beard. You can even see the neon paint on the battle damage reveal piece. The paintwork on the axe looks just plain lazy. It looks like it's made out of mud instead of an actual dorsal fan. I actually like the Hong Kong Battle Godzilla figure more. Not only do you have the blue and purple neon paint accents, but also you've even got translucent bits on its torso, legs, feet, arms, face, and tail. Even its battle damage reveal piece is translucent. My favorite part has got to be its translucent dorsal plates mixed with neon paint. Oh my eyes, it's like ecstasy. It includes an atomic breath accessory that's a bit darker than the original. You get the same articulation as the other Godzilla figures in the line. Let the battles begin! Oh no! Looks like Mecha Godzilla's overpowering them! How can I stop them? Luckily, my wife gave me this! <laughs> oh, that's a wrap. What's your favorite figure in the line? Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more fun videos. Check out the links in the description if you're interested in purchasing any of the products. Thanks for watching.